Hey guys, Joe here from the Fantastic Life, and I wanted to do this quick review for you on the Owl Vans Sherpa Rack. The Sherpa Rack, as you can see here with the one up trays, has been on our van for about three months now, and we've driven from Seattle all the way down to Sedona. We've been through Bend, we've been all over the Southwest mountain biking with our two bikes on the rack. So what I'm gonna show you today is not only how we've used the rack, but kind of give you some commentary on how the rack has been for us. With these two bikes on here, the first thing in the one-up trays is that we have them set up so that the bigger bike is a little bit higher, and we just decided to put that on the outside because this outside tray here is more stable on the Sherpa rack. So you'll notice that there is a little bit of wobble here in the middle rack, and it just has to do with the, the three-point system with where the Sherpa rack is set up. It's connected here, here, and then back in behind the Sherpa rack there. If you wanna come up and, and see with the camera angle, you can check that out if you go around this way. The other thing that we've noticed with having the two bikes on the Sherpa rack is that if you can get this middle bike as close to the outside bike as possible, and we could maybe even put it a little bit closer, it is a more stable setup. Not that it really matters or that we've noticed that there's any kind of issue with the bike moving around. I think that most of the time, the racks are meant to be able to move a little bit as you're using them. So it's not a big issue, but just something that you can think about if you're setting up one of these for yourself. Also, you're just gonna wanna make sure that these, what we've called or deemed the oh shit cables are in the right place and making sure that they're supporting you in setting up this rack. And basically what those do is they're set up so that if the, tr if the bolts or the nuts and bolts on the back holding the one up rack were to, were to fail, it would catch the bike from falling all the way down to the ground. So I'm gonna show you how we put these bikes in and out because it is a little bit tricky. And I also recommend that if you are under six feet tall that you have a step stool to get these bikes in there. So first thing, we use this secondary lock system here. It's just a cable lock to have a second thing that someone would have to get through if they were gonna steal the bike. Because we have this, another lock right here that comes with the Sherpa rack if you order the security kit. So we just have the cable going through and around the rack here, and you can see that it just pulls right out. Then we have these little wheel locks here that are nice and easy to get in and out. And like I said, just give you a little bit of extra peace of mind. You just screw them. I've never actually seen a lock like this before, but they work really well. Then from there, you can see right up here that Owl Vans gives you these, gives you these nice Velcro kind of like tie downs for the front tire and wheel and it's a little bit of added security and they're very sticky. So you have the bike ready to come out of the rack now. From here, in order to release this, this locking system, you've got to pull down on the rack. It releases as you press out the little red handle and then I put one finger on this bike tire because if you just pop it up, the bike will fall itself out. So you've got to hold yourself onto the bike slightly and then wiggle that rack up. And from there, I keep my hand on the tire, I come back down and I free this lower tire because it's stuck in there because of gravity. And then you can really just pull the bike out here. I'm just stuck on the cable a little bit. And now the bike is out of the rack and then you can go ahead and ride. And for the other one, I'm gonna pull them all the way out so you can see how two of them go in when you're using this rack. Same way, pull that down to release and then push or wiggle the top lever out. Replace your hands, free the bike, and then your bikes are out of the rack. The cool thing about this setup as well is that if you're not gonna be using these trays, they fold up really nice and out of the way. Just like this. And all the way down. So if you're not using them, that's all you've got to work with. One of the very nice things about this versus having a hitch bike rack, which all though it does fold up, you're still out here about two to three feet 
into traffic or parking or whatever you're gonna be doing. In this case, it folds up even behind our little rack attached thing here and almost just about level with the hitch and it's actually behind the tire that we have here, which is also an Owl Vans tire carrier. So if we open this up, the, one of the innovative things that Owl Vans did with the Sherpa rack is they've got a hinge back here at the third point. So if you can imagine that because the door changes positions, it can't just be a fixed hinge. It has to actually move with the door. So you can see that the rack actually gets closer to the handle here. So you can get the door all the way open. You are not able to swing the door all the way open fully. You, before having the rack on, you could swing it all the way open. But to be honest with you, we never did that. So it's not something that we are missing at all. And it just tucks itself in. You can open the door. Even with the bikes on, we will open and close this door. And it seems to be very easy for uh, the door to handle that amount of weight. So then to show you how to get those bikes back on, I'm gonna open this guy all the way back up and I go down until I feel the cable give in and then I go up just slightly so that there's a little bit of play in that particular cable. Then what I do is put the top up all the way and I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side as well. And for our particular bikes, what I've noticed is that I'm gonna look for this top or the higher of the one-ups to be slightly above or off from parallel. So I've just done it a few times so I know what I'm looking for when I'm first trying to set this guy up as far as not having the bikes touch. Then you're gonna take the first bike or the lower bike here, grab it on the top tube and the shock and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna first actually look to make sure that the lock is not gonna hit if I put that guy in with the bike. There we have it. And then I'm going to reach up, pull down, and tighten that bike into place. Finish up by putting on the Velcro here. Tighten it down. Make sure that this cable is not gonna be having the bike rest on it at all. And I take the second bike, pull it up. First with the rear tire, maneuver it into place above the first bike. As you can see, there's a nice distance here that's not gonna hit at all. And then I make sure that the lock's gonna work it is. And then get up nice and tall and pull this guy down into place. Finishing up with a little bit of security from the Velcro, which you also, as you can see, have to be pretty tall to get that wrapped around the tray. Velcro it in, and then from there, what I would do is just continue on with the lock in both places, and you're good to go. So lastly, you can see that if I were to open the door, the bikes just go along with the Sherpa rack, and you're good to go. So if you guys have any questions about that at all, um, how this works, would like to, you know, is there something that I missed that you would like to know about? Just let me know, put them in the comments below. Make sure that if you like these videos, you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. All right guys, 